Rice is life baka mo? Ano ang pwedeng gawin ng mga taong hindi kayang bitawan ang rice? Ito yung tatlong bagay na pwede niyong i-consider in case na hindi talaga kayang bitawan yung rice. So, tatlong bagay, Q, T, and R. So, ano yung Q? The first thing is about quantity. Gano karami? Kung hindi mo kaya na walang kanin yung kinakain mo, at least iisipin mo gano karami yung inyong kakainin. So, sa low-carb lifestyle, one cup of rice is already enough. So, ano yung katumbas ng one cup of rice na yun? One cup of rice is already equivalent to 40 to 45 grams of net carbohydrates. So, this is quantity. Gano karami ang rice na kakainin mo. So, if hindi mo kayang mawala yung rice, at least you limit it to just about one cup per day. And that is equivalent already to up to 45 grams of net carbohydrates. 45 grams of net carbohydrates, meron na lang kayong kakaunting allowance para ito ay lumagpas na sa ating 50 gram limit in a day when it comes to low carb way of life. Bakit 50 grams? Kasi yung 50 grams na low carb, ito yung limit na hindi magsuspike ang inyong insulin. Kasi kung mas mataas ka dyan, pwede nang tumaas ang inyong insulin at kapag sobrang taas parati yung ating insulin, yung ating inflammation sa ating katawan, yung pamamaga ay pwedeng patuloy pa din and hindi magkakaroon ng opportunity na matunaw yung mga tabas sa ating katawan and also patuloy lang ito na magkakaroon ng fat build up especially sa mga taong merong fatty liver, merong triglyceridemia at meron ng maraming senyales ng inflammation, pamamaga, sakit sa katawan. So that is why we want to limit Saan tayo kukuha ng energy? Kasi yung 45 grams, if it times 4 natin yan, nasa 180 kilocalories lang yan. So, ang kcal naman is the energy equivalent. So, saan kukuha ng energy kung 1 cup of rice na lang? Actually, pwede kang kumuha ng energy galing sa either proteins or fats. So, kung lang, mostly proteins, meat is that it's low, one egg will already give you around 65 kilocalories. So, mga tatlo ito is already equivalent to one cup of rice. At kung ayaw nyo naman ito, at kung mahal yung ito, meron actually mas murang counterpart when it comes to calories. Ha? At ang iba na dyan, uh, one and a half tablespoon ng oil, coconut oil, for example. So, that is coming from fast. 20 grams of fat, okay, one and a half tablespoon yan, is already also equivalent 180 kilocalories. So, kung titignan mo, by calories alone, by energy alone, it is already equivalent to one cup of rice. At mas mura pa, and yung importante lang, it will be converted into energy ang mga approximately 1.5 tablespoon of coconut oil. Coconut oil will already give you energy equivalent to rice para sa mga taong naghahanap ng energy source. And that is how good yung ating katawan when it comes to balancing and budgeting kung ano yung pwede ating makukunan ng energy sa ating mga araw para may gawain. So, if rice is like when you get that one, one thing you can do is reduce the quality. Huwag na yung eight times a day because pag palati mo kinakain yung isang bagay especially when it's loaded with sugar because rice is still starch at loaded with parang sugar most likely mag-crave ka na mag-crave. So, the next thing that you can consider is timing. Kailan mo sila kakainin. So, if you have a lang one cup of rice in a day, kung kakainin mo ito ng sabay-sabay, most likely it will still have that insulin impact. Kasi nga, sabay-sabay mo itong kinakain. What you can do is you can eat and distribute this one cup of rice in your two or three meals. So, nasa one half cup lang or one quarter cup lang. 
and magdistribute po ito para yung insulin yung ba ay hindi darin ganang talala. Another that you can also do if hindi talaga kaya ng konti-konti is kainin mo ito at sa huli na. Don't eat rice first thing in the morning, especially kapag after fasting because your body is still very sensitive to insulin. Kapag kinain mo ito, first thing in the morning, most likely you will be craving it all throughout the day. So, pag ito sa timing, pwede po siya gain body or pwede mo rin siya or pwede mo siyang kainin sa huli. Eat it last. That's the thing that you can do. Ikaw lang makasasabi kung ano yung magiging magiging mahilang ka when it comes to eating rice. Kung kaya mo siya pwede ipasa sa iyong buhay. But of course, if you sanay na tayo sa life without rice like me and our family, then no need to worry. Mas maganda yan. No need na ito. But maybe meron kayo ang mga pamilya and loved ones who are still struggling na hindi pa yung itawan ng ganin. So these are the things that they can consider. And lastly, what the art is the replacement. Since kung pati na nalang natin ng ating rice at yung mga ating pagkakas sa kanya ay hindi na unlimited, hindi na unrealized. So we can think of replacement. And the replacement that you should consider hindi yung katulad ng kanin or mas malala sa kanin tulad ng kanin, tulad, ah, tulad ng bread, tulad ng mga oatmeal, corn, uh, kahit mga katatas, mashed potato, those are the carbohydrates. So kung gusto mo na mag-throw on plate replacement, make it a low-carb alternative. So ang re-replace mo sa rice na hindi mo nakakainin kasi hindi ka na mag-replace ng rice, make sure that you're also avoiding other high carbs. So yung mga sweets, other starch, and also try to avoid too much fructose because fructose is going to damage your body. So avoid ba rin yan? You can do your low carb. So you can do low carb vegetables. So meron na yung mga pipino, meron mga lettuce, mga broccoli, or you can increase your plus masarap ang proteins. So you can eat your proteins and make sure that you are also consuming enough good fats, enough natural fats. So, kahit pa meron kayong rice, hindi kailangan na sobra-sobra ito, you can still manage to have a healthy life and to help towards healing if you will consider this one. With quantity, you lessen it with timing. You can also divide it, this one cup, one cup, or ilagay mo siya sa huli, so that you can still, yung pinakapurpose nito, you can still stick with your intermittent fasting schedule because yung method natin is very important. And the more we try, the more na mas mahirap mag-stick to your IF schedule. Kasi nga, yung katawan mo is patate lang na pre-crave ng rice. Every two to three hours, mas magugutom ka. But if you eat your rice at the last part of your day, then patutulog ka na lang right after, and hopefully, hindi ka nang gigive in sa gutong na maybe parang gigising yan ka in the middle of the night. That is why you can try to do this one, and hopefully, eventually, hindi na magiging. Rice is life, but kayang-kayang na ng LWR, which is our life without rice, di ba? So, mas maganda, ang life without rice, no more struggles, wala na rin tayong craving, and we can enjoy our eating more. So, yun yung tatlong bagay na pwede nyo consider if hindi kaya yung total life without rice, the quantity you can lessen, the timing you can change, and you start putting in replacement slowly and surely para mas maganda yung inyong din. So, maraming salamat everyone. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in our next video. Live tayo in our YouTube channel kasi hindi tayo makapagkakas in our Facebook page. Maraming salamat. I'll see you in our next video. Remember to always stay in the car so that we all stay safe.